This is the book of Numbers, chapter 35, verse 33. So ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are. For blood defileth the land, and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. Defile not therefore the land which ye shall inhabit, wherein I dwell, for I, Yahweh, dwell among the children of Israel. Why did you wish to sail west? To open a new route to Asia. Asia is the richest kingdom, the land of spices and gold. At the moment, there are only two ways of reaching it. By sea, sailing around the African continent, the journey takes a year, or by land. But the Turks have closed this route to all Christians. There is a third way. By sailing west across the ocean sea. The distance is unknown. It's said to be infinite. infinite. Superstition. I believe the Indies are no more than 750 leagues west of the Canary Islands. Can't you be so certain? The calculations of uh, Toscanelli, Marin de Tire, Esdras. Esdras is a Jew. So what's worse? Two minutes. And already you're a bad man. For telling the truth? Yes. You are burning people for less. The men you're about to confront have no emotion. So there you go. I'm going to bring this part back. It. By sea? Sailing around the African continent? It says, this is the book of Habakkuk. This is the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, verse 12. Woe to him that buildeth a town with blood and establish a city by iniquity. The journey takes a year or by land, but the Turks have closed this road to all Christians. There is a third way. By sailing west across the ocean sea. The distance is unknown. It's said to be infinite. Superstition. I believe the Indies are no more than 750 leagues west of the Canary Islands. Can you be so certain? The calculations of uh, Toscanelli, Marin de Tire, Esdras. Esdras is a Jew. It says Ezra is a Jew. Okay, so this shows you that the book of Ezra, I mean, the, the Apocrypha is validated, and even the book of Ezra, because they're, they're telling you in this movie history of how Christopher Columbus knew to sail to this side of, uh, of the earth okay and he knew who he was coming for all right <coughs> and he knew because he read the book of ezra so if we go into the book of ezra chapters um and you see it on the screen you, you can follow along showing you that you know you got some people that say that the native americans aren't israelites which is completely wrong you know absolutely um obnoxious and um unlearned okay then you got people that also say the same people usually will say that the Edomites, okay, who are um, the, the biblical Edomites, Esau, um, who are really the Caucasians or the so-called white people, they'll tell you that these people are the Arabs, okay, which none of this lines up with history, man, okay? The, the, hey, there's so much knowledge out here. You can, um, you, you know, get it just by studying, man. That's why scripture says to study, to show thyself approved, okay? But this is going into, this lesson is going to be going into the wickedness of Thanksgiving, okay? Because really, when you celebrate Thanksgiving with your family, you are, um, you know, g giving praise to and giving thanks for, you know, the slaughter of the Native American Indians, all right, which are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites, men, the ten tribes, okay? You are giving thanks to the, um, these people are giving thanks in America to how they were able to acquire this land. 
Okay, and we know all this knowledge through the spirit of Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai. I want to say call Halah Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai Bahashim Rakakwadash. That's all praise to the most high name of his only begotten son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles, the great mission who teach him real well, who taught us his truth. Okay, peace and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered abroad. My name is Ibar from the prophets in Babylon camp down here in Tampa, Florida. All right. Now let's get into it. Um, this is the book of Second Ezra, chapter 13, verse 40. It says, those are the 10 tribes. What 10 tribes? The 10 tribes of Israel. There's 12 tribes, but these 10 tribes is talking about the northern kingdom, which, which today we should, which we call the so-called Hispanics or your Latinos, okay? Your Native American Indians, okay? It says, those are the 10 tribes which were carried away prisoners out of their own land in the time of Hosea, the king whom Solomon Nasser, the king of Assyria, led away captive because the northern kingdom was in captivity to the Assyrians. Okay, and they were led away captive, he says, and he carried them over the waters. Now, was this talking about a puddle? No, this is talking about the oceans. He carried them over the waters, so they came into another land. You see, so this is um, going into... You know how the northern kingdom got over to the side. It says, but they took this counsel among themselves that they would leave the multitude of the heathen. So they would leave after they got out of that captivity. Okay, after that, after that slavery, that captivity was over. They said we're going to leave among from because they didn't just want to be freed among the heathen. They said we're going we're going to go leave from among the heathen and go forth into a further country where never mankind dwelt. So there's this further country. It's talking about America. Okay, well, never mankind dwelt. So the first people that were here to discover this land were the northern kingdom. Okay, which are the Hebrew Israelites of, um, you, you, uh, you know, the, you know, you, uh, you Ephraim, you know, um, Manasseh, you know, the list goes on and on. You got the 12 tribes. Okay, but this is the northern kingdom of the house of Israel, man, the 10 tribes. When they came over here, they were the first ones to dwell on this land. So Chris, Christopher Columbus, whose real name is Cristobal Colon, didn't discover anything. You see? It says um, that they might there keep their statues, which they never kept in their own land. And they entered into Euphrates by the narrow places of the river. So they came over here and they was, came over here to keep the statues and not, you know, go off. You see, but eventually they end up going off and you see um, glimpses of that in the movie um, Apocalypto. OK. Um, and what it shows you is that, you know, Jake was over here committing, you know, sacrifices unto devils and stuff, you know, um, you know, sacrificing each other and stuff, you know, into idols, you know. And because of that, in the end of that movie, they showed you that what those ships were, were, were coming. OK. And those ships were. The, um, you know, showing you, you know, those ships were showing you these co colonizers coming, man. Okay, which is the judgment of the Most High. Esau is the Most High sword. So whenever we go on off, he's saying this man is a punishing stick. Okay, it says, and they entered into Euphrates by the narrow place of the river, for the Most High then showed signs for them, and held the still the walk, and it's like and had still the flood, till they were passed over. So the Lord guided this path, man. He guided them over here, okay, because because prophecy had to be fulfilled. You know, this is ultimately how America was established, okay. And and, and, and like I said, this is in the book of in the Apocrypha, in the book of Second Ezra, and you see the scripture on the screen. It says, "For the Most High then showed them signs and held still the flood, till they were passed over. For through that country there was a great way to go, namely a year and a half." Now you see here, he said, um. Let me see if I can find it. What do you say? He said it'll take a till here. Said it'll take about a year. Superstition. I believe the Indies are no more than seven hundred and fifty leagues west of the Canary Islands. How can you be so certain? The calculations of uh, Toscanelli, Maradotti, Esdras. Esdras is a Jew. So what's worse? Two minutes, and already you're a bad man. For telling the truth? Yes. Are burning people for less. Okay, so lucky. So this movie is called Con in 1492, The Conquest to Paradise. Why did you wish to sail west? To open a new route to Asia. 
Asia is the richest kingdom, the land of spices and gold. At the moment, there are only two ways of reaching it. By sea, sailing around the African continent, the journey takes a year, or by land. But the Turks have closed this route to all Christians. There is a third way. By sailing west across the ocean sea. The distance is unknown. It's said to be infinite. Superstition. I believe the Indies are no more than 750 leagues west of the Canary Islands. Can you be so certain? The calculations of... Uh, so she said pretty much, you know, take, 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 take about a year. It says, um, verse 45, uh, it says, For through that country there were was a great way to go, namely of a year and a half, and the same region is called Asareth, which is what, what, what America was originally called. It says, Then dwelt there they there until the latter time, and now when they shall be begin to come. So you see, um, this is where they, they dwelt, man. The northern kingdom dwelt until the latter time. You know, even in, in to, to this day, a, a, a we're still on, on, on the side of the earth, you know. But, um, you know, to, to the latter time. And, and then that's when they began to come. You know, these, um, you know, you know, these uh, conquistadors. Okay, these conquerors. And so, Lockheed, this video is going to be a little back and forth. Um, or, um, you know loppy doppy all right but bear with me you may have to flip the screen here and there by the europeans i was going to do it um you know i decided just to knock this out and get it out of the way raw i'm gonna upload it raw so you know bear with me but i'm gonna show you a bunch of different clips here and matter of fact let me go um let me go here i want to show you this first um the pequot people were burned alive in the middle of their sleep at night in 1637. Mass Bay Colony, Plymouth Colony, Providence Plantation, Mystic Seaport, all English colonies banded together to burn women and children while they slept in a village at night. They barricaded the exit. They did not allow anyone to leave. They wanted them to burn. They were proud that they burned. This country was proud to write we could smell their burning, rotting flesh for over a mile away. It's written, folks. Please read it on your own. I am not making this up. Stephen King can't make this up. He was so proud, the town of Norwich, Connecticut, had a, a statue honoring this man up until roughly a decade ago. John Mason, the man who murdered over 700 people. When anyone, the few people who were able to survive that Holocaust, they were rounded up. They were sold as slaves. Before they were sold, they were marched all the way from Connecticut to Mass Bay Colony, present day Boston. They were placed on trial. They were declared to be sold as slaves. But before they sent them on that slave ship, they had to humiliate them some more. And they read a declaration that those people shall not ever, once again, even utter the word Pequot. They will no longer be able to call themselves a Pequot. I am proud to say, I'm a Mashtuck Pequot. This is the history, folks. Because that particular day, that particular incident, is when this country declared its second religious day of Thanksgiving. There you go. So that's how you get, you know, Thanksgiving. All right, we're going to go into a little more history. The true stories of Thanksgiving. All right. But this is the book of Genesis, chapter 49, verse 19. It says, Gad, a troop shall overcome him, but he shall overcome at the last. And Gad is the, is the Native American Indians. OK, and that troop was Esau, man. You know, when they came over here with those conquistadors, you know, pretty much conquered, you know, this uh, uh, side of the world. All right. Through richest dealing. I mean, um, unrighteous dealings, man. And now this man is being found out, you know, hey, everybody's calling this man out. You know, <laughs> all this history is coming out on this man. OK, and this is something that Esau cannot run from. No matter what he try to do, he cannot hide. He cannot run from from this history because, hey, 
a day of reckoning is coming. All right, a day of reckoning is coming. Let's go here. Did you know the genocidal history behind Thanksgiving? Do you know why we celebrate it? It's not the pilgrims and the Indians that met in 1621. That was the Wampanoag who investigated uh, settlers and pilgrims shooting off guns. And they just were shooting guns because they were celebrating not having starved to death. But the reason that the Thanksgiving holiday is celebrated every year is in 1637, a white man was discovered dead in a boat. So what happened? English major uh, decided that he would blamed the Pequots. So they burned 400 men, women, and children to death. The next day, Plymouth Mayor William Bradford came out and said, let's celebrate this day of Thanksgiving for this victory we have won. And that's what we celebrate every year. Check out my article, Six Myths of Thanksgiving by Vince Schilling. Check it out. That's what we celebrate, a bloody day. There you go. So that's where you get Thanksgiving from, man. It was all about genocide, man, you know. And then that's how these Edomites got this land. And now they're proud and they're boasting over having this land. You know, they're thinking that, you know, they can just, you know, keep this land or it's their land now. And, you know, they even go as far as 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 kicking the so-called Mexicans, which are, you know, a part of, of, of those 10 tribes. Kick trying to kick them out and tell them that they're aliens, you know, which is hey, this man got hell to pay for, man. But it shows you that. You know, they're giving thanks on this day. This is a, 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 a history declarated to giving thanks to um, getting this land through rape, robbery and murder, man. OK, complete um, genocide. All right. And and, and, and and they even taught us this in school. All right. Taught us about the Trail of Tears. OK, the manifest destiny, how it was, you know, God manifested for them to get this land and do what they did unto our people, which is, you know, in a way true, you know, because we had went off. But it's also going to be manifest destiny for, you know, the Lord said that what a hey, vengeance is his and he's going to um, he that leadeth in captivity shall go into captivity, man. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. All right. Here is the patience of the saints and we are the saints. So, hey, man, hey, <laughs> Esau's day in court is coming, man. All right. This is the book of Obadiah. Chapter one, verse three, the pride of thine heart hath deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the cliffs of the rocks. Whose habitation is high that saith in his heart or mind, who shall bring me down to the ground? Though thou exalt thyself as an eagle and though thou set thy nest among the stars, this will I bring thee down, saith the Lord. You see, so this man is going to get brought down, you know, and, 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 and all his piety and uh, pride, he's going to get brought, brought down, man. And this is what we're starting to see. We are in beginning stages, man. You had um, a, a couple a year ago or so. You had um, and it's been happening you know, on and off. But you have all these statues of these um Confederate, um you know devils getting torn down, man. And and and, 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 and you know these um Edomites got all, got all up in arms. You have Trump even going so far as to saying that if you Jakes don't you know learn some history and stop doing what you're doing, you're gonna <laughs> you're going to repeat it, saying he's gonna put you back in slavery. Okay, so they're proud and they make a mockery of us, man. But 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 a time of reckoning is coming. It says, if these came to thee, if robbers by night, how art thou cut off? Would they have not stolen till they have had enough? If gate gatherers came to thee, if would they not have, so like, would they not leave some grapes? So if you, you know, was dealing with anybody else, man, you know, and they came and robbed and stole from, from you, they will leave something, man. Eventually they, they will stop, you know, they will be cut off. But Esau took everything, man. You know, he took our land. He, he, he took our heritage. He took our culture. Okay. And then he makes a mockery of, uh, um, um, uh, of us about it. It says, verse six, how are the things of Esau searched out? How are his hidden things sought up? And these are things that they are desperately trying to hide. You know, they're trying to get, you know, slavery out of, out of the history books. You know, they don't, they don't want to talk about what they did to, them, to, to, to the Native American Indians too much. You know, and every time somebody brings it up, you know, these guys, they, 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 they're all they're all up in arms. You know, they're all up in arms because they know that they have hell to pay. OK. They got hell to pay, man, and they gonna pay it. All right, so let's go back here. Before we start this, let me grab this. This is the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter ten, verse eight. It says, "Because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches gotten by got by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another." So, because of unrighteous dealings, you know, you know they, they broke treaties. 
You know, when, when they came, you're going to you're going to hear about it more in this video. But when they came, the Native American Indians, and I just posted this video. About, about, I might not play the whole video. I know I just might. But they just posted this video up. OK, and it goes into pretty much all that these devils have done to, 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 to the Native American Indians. OK, and even beyond. All right. So you can watch that. But um, I'm going to grab finish. This it says um, because they because of unrighteous dealings and riches got and riches got by deceit, you know, through lying, you know, robbery, you know, not righteously, man. The kingdom has been translated from one people to another. So at one point we was in power and now they're in power and they got it through um, unrighteous dealings, injuries, you know, stealing and killing. OK, when Isaac gave Esau his blessing, which was a sword, he told him that he was going to get everything by the sword. OK, which is what injuries, man. You know, a sword is a weapon of destruction. It says, why is earth and ashes proud? There is not a more wicked thing than a covetous man. And Esau is very covetous, man. He can never have enough. You see, this man can never have enough, man. You know, he 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 covet, you know, um, whole nations that are not his. You know, he goes to lands and he bombs whole lands and goes to war with whole nations, man. And then he, and then he puts out this propaganda that the so-called black man or is the most violent and dangerous man on the earth. But yet you are going and going to war and and, and bombing whole nations. For their resources, you robbing people and bombing whole nations. Jake might rob a couple people, you know, in his life. You know, he may he may he he may rob a you know a op at a gas station. He 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 he, he may rob an old lady at, 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 at a you know a damn convenience store, whatever it may be. But this man robs whole nations, man, and even goes to far to execute genocide on whole nations. Look at Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Okay, this man has a track record. Okay, but the so, the so called black woman has been deceived and will tell you. We will tell us that the same rhetoric that the so-called white man told her, and that's that the so-called black man is the most violent and vicious beast on the earth when the re reality is this man. You see, but he's a crafty devil. He's very deceiving. He can make you feel like, you know, or see, make it seem like he's the righteous or he's not so bad. Trooper says that the, the, the devil himself um, changes into an angel of light, you know, masqueraded as an angel of light, roughly paraphrasing. All right, so that's this man, the so-called white race, you know, the deceiver, which means he deceived the whole world. Devil means a deceiver. And he's masquerading as an angel of light. You know, he he, he painted himself as an image of, of, of the Messiah. Okay, all times of all types of madness, man. It says Obadiah chapter um one verse uh <clears throat> Obadiah chapter one verse ten for for thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. So so hey, they got hell to pay, man. Okay. They got hell to pay. And we're going to, like I said, I'm going to show you this video. Just hold on one second. You're going to see. Okay, I'm going to grab these, give me the scriptures out. Verse 15, for the day of the Lord, Yahweh is near upon all the heathen. Not just you Edomites, but all you heathens ha ha had a play in, um, our, in, in our spoils, man. H had your hand in our spoils, you know, in, in our destruction. Had your hands in our captivity, man. You know, and if you didn't have us literally in captivity, then you benefited off of it in some way, form, or fashion. Okay, and you damn sure was not... You know, kicking up no smoke about us being slaves. Okay, so guess what? You don't have to pay too. You know, you you are an accessory to the crime. Okay, it says, "For the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen. As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. Thy reward shall return upon thine own head." So there you go. You know, the reward shall return upon thine own head, man. And the Lord is going to make an example out of America, an example out of Esau. OK, in his kingdom, man, just like how he did with Egypt, um, you know, in, in uh, um, ancient Egypt, the Lord made, made, made an example out of that, um, out of, of, of uh, that place. OK, and he's about to do that all over again. He's about to make an example out, out of this place. OK, let me grab this real quick. It's the book of Job, chapter nine. Verse 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covers the faces of the judges thereof, if not where and who is he? And this video is going to show you who is the wicked, how he got the world, okay, where and and who is he, man? Okay, because you're going to find out that this man is a, a complete demon, you know? And this is why we you know, we, we come out to, to warn you, you know? You know, we come out and we warn you people of, you know, what this man is all about, okay? Malachi chapter 1 verse 4 it says, whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished, but we shall return and build the desolate places. 
Thus saith Yahweh of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness. This man is the border of wickedness. He is the border. At, at all wickedness on earth, he is the border of it. He, he, he is at the front of it. Okay? And they, and the people against whom Yahweh have indignation forever. And indignation means righteous anger, man. Okay? And the Lord is righteous to be angry at this place, man. Okay? So... We're going to go ahead and, and uh, let this video play. All right. So you can just get an idea of this devil that we're dealing with, man. All right. Christopher Columbus, one of the great European heroes, turns up on the island of Hispaniola. He was welcomed by the native people. They embraced them. They treated them with fantastic hospitality. His soldiers snatched babies from the breasts of their mothers and dashed their heads against the rocks. Children were fed alive. You heard that? So this is this is this is these Edomites' hero, man. All right, this is their hero, and and you see what he was doing to us, man. Okay, um, you dashing babies' heads against the stones, and like we said, all that they have done shall shall return upon thine own head. So as you eat this, you know, abominable, which you know they they have already said that this is going to be one of the most. Um, I mean, and I'm gonna go into that. You know, it's a video of of, of one of these guys talking in like you know those senates um, houses or whatever. And he said how 2021 is going to be the most expensive Thanksgiving dinner of the year. You know, I saw a, um, an article from RT, okay, about how um, people, you know, are, are going to be eating Thanksgiving dinner, how they're going to be giving out Thanksgiving dinner in a can. You know, the turkey, the cranberry, the stuffing, the mashed potatoes, everything in one can. Okay, which shows how bad it's getting out here. But people are still blinded, man. Okay. Now, going back to what he said right there, it says, um, Psalms chapter 137 says, verse 7, Remember, O Yahweh, the children of Edom, which are you Caucasians, okay, in the day of Jerusalem, who said, Raise it, raise it, even to the foundation thereof, O daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed. These devils were cheering as we were getting destroyed, man. You know, as they sacked Jerusalem, you know, they, 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 they were saying, hip, hip, hooray, hip, hip, hooray, okay. Who art to be destroyed, happy shall he be that rewarded thee as thou hast served us. We're going to reward you as you served us, man. Everything that you have um, um, served us with, we're going to, we're, we're, everything that you have rewarded us with, we're going to serve it back to, to uh, you, you know. Like you got ser like you get served a subpoena. Every time Esau comes out, he see, pass by one of the camps and he sees us out of the teaching, he's getting served a subpoena, man. We are telling him his judgment, okay. You, you got you to gotta appear in court, okay. For all the crimes, man. Okay, the old and the new. As happy shall he be that taketh and dasheth his little ones against the stone. So this, so when this time comes back, when the hey, 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 man, <laughs> when, when the shoe is on the other foot, okay, Esau ain't gonna be the only one in history dashing babies against stones, man. You know, you got history of this man, um, tearing, you know, the baby out of, you know, he he came over here, he he took the the the, the, the um the uh, native women. And he will, the pregnant woman, and he will cut the baby out of her stomach, step on the baby's head, and then kill the woman, man. This man has has a, a, a hell to pay for. Okay, and he's trying to escape out of it, but there is no running from, you know, judgment, man. I'm going to um, go here before I go any further. <clears throat> I'm going to bring the video back. It says, Isaiah chapter 14, verse 21, prepare slaughter for his children. For the iniquity of their father. So you you, you eat them like and say, oh, I didn't have to do that. I didn't have any slaves. That was my forefathers. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Well, technically, you are your forefathers when you go into, re to, 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 into the understanding of regeneration. Okay, or reincarnation. Your spirit was back on this earth. It has came back on this earth. And at one point, it was on this earth doing what you see on the screen. Okay? Your spirit has came back. Okay, time and time again. All right? So, um... It says, um, prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers, that they do not rise. And you see how they greeted him with love, and, it, and, and this man was a devil the whole time. Okay? That they do not rise, nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with city. So you're never going to have another America again, man. Okay? Because what? You're going to prepare slaughter for their children. And your children, you know, which, which are these modern day Edomites, are going to pay for the old and the new. Okay? It says, for I will rise up against them, saith. Uh, Yahweh of hosts and cut them off from Babylon name and remnant and son and nephew saith Yahweh. 
he gonna cut you off, man. Hey, hey pretty soon, ain't, ain't nobody gonna be even, anybody gonna know what an Edomite was, man. Okay? And I will also make a possession for the bittern and pools of water, and I will sweep it with the besom of destruction, saith Yahweh of hosts. So that, that's talking about those thermonuclear missiles, man. Okay, that destroying wind is going to ultimately destroy this place. So all the blood that has been shed here is going to be, you know, re rewarded back unto this man with his own blood. All right, my brain is back. Christopher Columbus, one of the great European heroes, turns European up on heroes. the island of Hispaniola. He was welcomed by the native people. They embraced them. They treated them with fantastic hospitality. His soldiers snatched babies from the breasts of their mothers and dashed their heads against the rocks. Children were fed alive to his dogs. Women's breasts were cut off. He decided to hang 13 of the Native Americans in Hispaniola to recreate the crucifixion of Jesus plus the apostles. It's true that the majority of people died there of disease, diseases introduced by the Europeans unwittingly, but many others were driven to death through overwork, direct murder, through starvation as their resources were taken away. Columbus mm. insisted that everybody bring him a certain amount of gold and those who failed to do so had their hands cut off. Some were sent back to their villages with their hands and their noses tied round their necks having been amputated by his soldiers. And what he did there set the pattern for the genocidal extermination of almost all <coughs> the Native American peoples. A hundred million before Columbus made landfall by the 19th century, that had come down to less than a million across the Americas. Overtly endorsed by such revered figures as George... Overtly endorsed. This man killed over 100 million na Native Americans, man. Okay, over 100 million Hebrew Israelites. Okay, which is going to be a hell to pay for that, man. Okay, you're not going to just walk away and think it's going to be peaches and cream. All right, this is the book of Nahum, chapter 3, verse 1. Woe to the bloody city. It is full of lies and robbery and Pray departeth not. That's like if the pray departeth not. So we stuck here, man, in this bloody city that is full of lies and robbery, man. Okay, America never even went to the moon. Everything in this place has, you know, uh, claimed to accomplish and done. They have done it through wickedness, robbery, okay, lies and deceit, man. Okay, and even more so, you know, you got um, this damn devil, you know. <laughs> hey, man, it, uh, you, you, re you read accounts of how. When he came over here, he, 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 he spoke about how he couldn't put a sword down for one hour because he was doing too much slaying and killing, man. This man is a bloodthirsty demon, okay? You also hear about how, um, you know, um, whenever they, you know, you hear about the land of Puerto Rico, which Puerto Rico means rich port. It's not a rich port now, okay? When that hurricane came through, you had Trump, you know, trying to shoot three-pointers with, you know, rolls of paper towels, man, you know, because those people are in, in, in such need over there. But it was called Rich Port before they robbed it, man. You hear accounts about when, when it, how, how when the how when the um, conquistadors came, the settlers came, how um, you know they pretty much you know the, the kids were playing on the beach with precious stones and jewels. You know he said how these people were so nice and so generous that they 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 had to be conquered. Okay, this man is a devil. It says, um, Micah chapter two, verse one, woe to them that devise iniquity and work, with, and work evil upon their beds. When it is morning, they practice it because it is in the power of their hands. So they, and these people have the power, man. Okay. They have the power to be the complete devils that they are. Okay. And they suck it and they covet fields and they take them by violence. They covered whole nations and take them by violence. You got in all these other nations, you have a U.S. embassy, man. OK, where they have to pretty much when you want when, when when you near or on that land, that's American soil, man, in your own land. That's like somebody coming to your house and, 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 and you know, you know, spray painting a patch in, in your living room and saying this right here is my living room now. You know, this right here is my part of, 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 the, of the living room. This is my part of the house or, you know, cutting off a whole section of your house and saying this is my this is my house. Now, I discovered it. OK. It says, and houses and take them away. So they oppress a man and, and, and his house. So you oppress a man and his whole house. You don't just oppress the man. You're oppressing the women, the children, you know, the dog, the cat, you know. <laughs> you oppress the man and his house, even a man and his heritage. So you are oppressing us in our house and our, in, in our heritage. 
You know, you are oppressing us in er from every single angle, man. This man is a devil. Okay. So now before we finish, continue with this video, let me go to another one. This one is called The Doctrine of Discovery. Okay, a very, um, so I can for this ad. Called oh, the of Discovery. Of the okay, I'm gonna play this back, and we're gonna play a, just a little, a little bit of this play so you can hear what, what, what he has to say. But, you know, this shows you how this man was able to conquer lands, you know, and, you know, pretty much put it in history, man. They had to dehumanize the people. Okay. Fourteen ninety two. So, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna read that. It says the doctrine of discovery is a series of papal bulls written between 1452 and 1493. It, is, it was essentially the church in Europe saying to the nations in, of Europe, whatsoever land you find not ruled by Christian rulers, meaning Edomites. You know, if you go if you, if you come across the land and, 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 and we ain't ruling it. Those people, because there's of course, there's going to be people there. Are less than human, and the land is yours for the taking. So they saying that if you go into this, if you find and find this land, okay, and you see people there, and, and, and if they ain't us, you can conquer them and take that land because those ain't people; those, those are animals. This is the mind of, De of Esau. But the real challenge with the doctrine of discovery is the way it has influenced the very foundations of our nation. This how this nation was founded, man. This how the nation was completely established. It, 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 he said, "How is it? It has influenced. No, it is the foundation, man. It ain't influenced. It, it is the foundation. Okay, America was gotten off for of rape, robbery, and murder, man. Okay, genocide. Search out, capture, vanquish, and subdue all Saracens and pagans whatsoever. Reduce their persons to perpetual slavery and convert. Hey, and this is how you got um, Christianity, man, and Catholic um, and uh, the, and Catholicism." You have something called the Christian Crusade, where pretty much they went over the whole earth with a picture of Cesare Borgia, who you see today as white Jesus. And, you know, the the, the, the natives, you know, the people, the, the tribes, they already knew who the Lord was and what the Lord looked like. They had images and pictures of him. That's why you have something called whitewashing. OK, they went around and they said, OK, you're not going to worship this anymore. You're going to worship this image. And when our people said no, they killed them, man. They beat you into sub they beat you into sub submission. That's why you see the movie um, with, with, with uh, Kuti Kente. How they said your name is Toby. They, they literally beat our heritage and our history out of us. And now we're getting it back in these end times. Them to his and their use and profit. Anyone know what I'm reading here? These are the words of Pope Nicholas V in a papal bull or an official edict of the Catholic Church in 1452. This papal bull, followed by many others from 1452 to 1493, collectively became known as what's called the Doctrine of Discovery. The Doctrine of Discovery is this series of papal bulls that is the church in Europe saying to the nations of Europe, wherever you go, whatever lands you find not ruled by Christian rulers, those people are less than human and the land's yours for the taking. It was this Doctrine of Discovery that allowed European nations to colonize Africa and enslave the African people. It was also this doctrine of discovery that let Columbus, who was lost at sea, land on a continent inhabited by millions and claim to have discovered it. Because mm. there were no people here. The notion of discovery is a racist colonial concept that assumes the dehumanization of people of color. Mm. If you don't believe me, I welcome you to put your car keys and your smartphones out in front of you, and I will come by and discover them. <laughs> and that shit ain't funny, man. That shit ain't funny, because you, you got Edomites in the crowd laughing. <laughs> but it won't be funny if, if that was you that, that, that got discovered that way, man. And, and don't worry, you, you will. Okay? We're going to discover it all, man. It says, um... John chapter 10, verse 7, then said, Yahweh was shining to them, verily, verily, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. All that ever came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. You see, so 
these people that came before, but before this truth, before our Lord came, you know, were thieves and robbers. When you when you see Christianity and um, you know, Islam and all that matters, those are thieves and robbers. Man, they're trying to rob you from you know your true understanding of who your true power is and serving Him. You see, that's a thief and a robber. Okay, Christianity and all these false. Pagan religions and these pagan holidays like Thanksgiving and Christmas and all this madness has been per uh, per 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 perpetuated unto you and uh, 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 you know by thieves and robbers, man. But the true sheep ain't gonna hear them because we 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 have woke out of that madness and we have can't come into the true power. Yahweh by Hashem Shai, man. You know, some of us got you know accounts and testimonies of sitting at church and and just not hitting how it's hitting everybody else, man. Because what we did not hear them, you see. It says, I am the door by me. If any man enter in, he shall be saved. So this is the only way to be saved, man. You got to come out of this garbage. You got to come out of celebrating Thanksgiving. Listen, you're not going to be saved. Ain't nobody going to be on the chariot talking about they were just celebrating Thanksgiving. Talk about they were just celebrating Christmas. Talking about uh, praise Jesus. No, that's not. You're not going to be on the chariot praising no Jesus, man. You got to have the true names. You got to have the true uh, 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 um, power, man. Shai. Okay. And without it, you don't have anything. It says, uh, and and shall go in and out and find pasture. The thief cometh not but to steal and to kill and to destroy. And that's what he did. He he came with what? Um, um Catholicism, which ultimately is where you get um Christianism, okay? Christianity, all right, um, um, um Jehovah Witness, okay, all those different um um Mormonism, all those things stir or 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 or, or stem from Okay, those are daughter churches of the of the Catholic Church, man. Okay, which is the, the same Romans that crucified our Lord. Okay, it says, and to destroy, I am come that they may might have life, and that they might have life more abundantly. So the Lord has come that we may have life and have life more abundantly, man. Okay, you gotta. Hey, it's time to wake up. Discovery that let Columbus, who was lost at sea land on a continent inhabited by millions and claim to have discovered it because there were no people here. The notion of discovery is a racist colonial concept that assumes the dehumanization of people of color. If you don't believe me, I welcome you to put your car keys and your smartphones out in front of you and I will come by and discover them. <laughs> Discovery requires the dehumanization of the people who are already there. Otherwise, I would be stealing them. Mm. The doctrine of discovery is a systemically racist doctrine. In 1763, King George go. drew a line down. What I'm going to do is I'm going to upload this video up to, to the channel. Um, and you can, um, go ahead and watch it, man. You know, go ahead and watch it, but I'm gonna go back to this one. Before I get ready to close out, we gotta get, get, get out. We're gonna go, go, go out to camp today, man. You know, we're gonna go out to camp. All right, that's what we're gonna do on Thanksgiving. We're gonna go out to camp. We ain't finna sit around no damn tables with no damn thank turkey and no gravy. We're gonna go out and do the work of the Lord, man. Revelation chapter 15, verse 4. Who shall not fear thee, O, 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 Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai? And glorify thy name. Every hey, hey, amen. Every knee shall bow and every name shall con and every mouth shall confess. For all nations come shall come and worship before thee, for thy judgments shall are made manifest. So you're not so you're not going that's what I go into what I said about you ain't gonna be in no chariot praising Jesus Christ, man. Okay, or thinking about um Thanksgiving. You know, anybody who who, who is gonna be saved and delivered out of this place is gonna have to have to had fell from that madness, man. All right. I'm going to play this video back, grab a couple more scriptures, we're going to ready to close out. Christopher Columbus, one of the great European heroes, turns up on the island of Hispaniola. He was welcomed by the native people. They embraced them, they treated them with fantastic hospitality. His soldiers snatched babies from the breasts of their mothers and dashed their heads against the rocks. Children were fed alive to his dogs. Women's breasts were cut off. He decided to hang 13 of the Native Americans in Hispaniola to re and this right here what you're hearing is where you get the story somehow they met they conjured up the story of, of the Disney movie uh, Pocahontas okay out of all this they conjured up the story of the Disney movie Pocahontas
create the crucifixion of Jesus plus the apostles. It's and true that the majority of people... There you go. You see the mockery? They, they wanted to recreate the crucifixion of our Lord and the 12 disciples, man. Okay, with the native with the native Indians, showing that those are the true pe people, man. Those are the Israelites, man. We, hey, those the Native Amer. If you can't see that Native American Indians has all they went through and all they're going through to this day are the Native American. I mean, I mean, are, are they tr uh, biblical Hebrew Israelites? Then the Lord is not dealing with you, man. If you can't see that Esau is the so-called Caucasians to uh, today or the so-called wh white people to today, the Most High is not dealing with you. You are lost. You are confused. You have no idea what's going on. That's why you probably over there eating fucking turkey and, and ham right now, man. <laughs> Died there of disease. Disease is introduced by the Europeans unwittingly. But many others were driven to death through overwork, direct murder, through starvation as their resources were taken away. Columbus insisted that everybody bring him a certain amount of gold and those who failed to do so had their hands cut off. Some were sent back to their villages with their hands and their noses tied around their necks having been amputated by his soldiers. And what he did there set the pattern for the genocidal extermination of almost all the Native American peoples. A hundred million before Columbus made landfall, by the 19th century that had come down to less than a million across the Americas. Overtly endorsed by such revered figures as George Washington and Thomas Jefferson, who wrote about the necessity of wiping out Native American peoples. Mm. In Britain, we present the colonial project as being about teaching the natives table manners and double entry bookkeeping. In India, the British manufactured a famine in the 1870s out of nothing. There were food surpluses, massive amounts of food. But the governor, Lord Lytton, insisted that this food be exported wholesale to Britain. The ensuing starvation killed at least 12 million people, possibly as much as 29 million people. All relief works were banned except... And the scriptures tell you about a time of tribulation like never before. We coming into this time all over again and worse, man. You see, you know, those, you look at this, man. We coming into a time like this and worse. Scriptures talk about a famines, man, here in America. Here in America. So if you sitting down and enjoying Thanksgiving or you you just sat down and enjoyed Thanksgiving or you're about to sit down and enjoy Thanksgiving, hey, man, th uh, Thanksgiving dinner, think about this, man. Okay, think about this. Because this is going to be you. The Lord has something in store for you, man. They're saying this is going to be the most expensive Thanksgiving dinner of their entire pagan holiday. Okay? Ain't going to be no Thanksgiving next year. Ain't going to be no Christmas next year. Lord willing, we ain't going to be here next year, man. This is the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, verse 1. I will stand upon my watch and set up and set me upon my tower and I will say and I will see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. You see, and this is what we supposed to be doing. You men out there, man, you supposed to be upon your watch, man, and upon your tower. OK, watch him man. watch as well as pray. And the Lord answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables. He that may run, that he may run, that readeth it. And the vision is what we're about to read, man. So that when you read this, when you hear this, you're going to run into this word, man, and, and, and teach this word. You see? For the vision is yet for an appointed time. And you see, this, this, time, this time hasn't necessarily came yet, but we see it, we see it coming, man. It, it, was, it was prophecy. So, so, so in our minds, you know, the prophets were, were before called seers, meaning they were able to see, man. They had, they had the vision and we were able to see these things, man. So, so, so that when we read it, we ran, man, you know, and ever since that, 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 that point, and you brothers have been in this truth for years, man. And you, when you, when, when, whenever you read it, you ran and you've been running ever since. Keep running, man. He that endure to the end, the same shall be saved. It says. Um, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but in the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it because it will surely come. It will not tarry. So the things that that is pretty prophecies that, that, that that's prophesied in this Bible is coming, man. Okay. It says, yeah, also because he transgresseth by wine, he is a proud man. Neither keepeth at home who enlargeth his desire as hell. So this man can keep it at home. That's why he, he shows you how he was going across the oceans, man, taking uh, a year and a half, you know, year long trips. Okay. Across the ocean. Okay. 
Neither keepeth at home who enlargeth his border as, as uh, 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 enlargeth his desire as hell. He, he largeth all, all, all. Hey, this man can never have enough, man. Okay, all he does is add unto himself. Okay, and as and is at death and cannot be satisfied, but gathereth unto him all nations and heapeth unto him all people. He cannot be satisfied. That's why with all this power. You know, when you have so much power that you don't know what to do with, the next thing, the next thing, the only thing that you can get left is now raw power over the people. This is why he's telling you that he wants everybody to get the Jabberwocky, man, the McFuck no. Yeah, this is why he's telling you that he wants everybody to be a part of his system, man. He wants to heap, he, he wants to gather all nations, the one world order, and heap unto himself all people. You see? Total control, okay. He and he plans on getting. He's talking about a, 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 by the end of this winter, you will either be veed, cured, or dead. What are they talking about, man? They getting ready to come down with all hell, great wrath and destruction. If you sell at a Thanksgiving dinner in these end times, and you are completely lost, and you are about to be given to the slaughter, man. Verse six: Shall not all these take up a proverb against him? And a taunting proverb against him and say, woe to him that increaseth that which is which is not his. How long? And to him that ladeth himself with thick clay, which is debt, man. OK, he increases unto himself that which is not his. Everything he has gotten, he has gotten it wickedly, man. Out of nothing, there were food surpluses, massive amounts of food. But the governor, Lord Lytton, insisted that this food be exported wholesale to Britain. The ensuing starvation killed at least. Look at this, man. Look at this. This is going to be America and worse. People going to be eating their own children, man. Okay, you see how fat these Americans is now, man? Hey, hey, all that weight is going to get trimmed down because of starvation, man. Famines. So if you, like I said, if you're sitting at a Thanksgiving dinner, okay, if you just celebrate Thanksgiving dinner, you better repent, man. You better repent and actually Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, not Jesus and, and God. You actually Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for mercy, man. Because the Lord about to starve your ass to death. Shall they not rise up suddenly that shall bite thee and awake that shall vex thee? And thou shalt be for booties unto them. Hey, man, you devils, man. You, hey, the, the whole world is about to turn against you, man. You're going to be for booties unto them, man. You know how you got a pirate and a pirate will, 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 will conquer a ship and he says, take all the booty. That means all the riches, all the gold, all the spoils, all the women, all the children for slaves, hey, everything, man. Because thou has spoiled many nations. You have spoiled many nations, man. All the remnant of the people shall spoil thee. Everybody else on this earth are going to turn against you, man. All your allies are going to turn against you. And we see in the beginning stages of this now, you got all these war talks, you know, going on. And pretty much everybody turned against America. America cannot be trusted. Because of man's blood for the violence of the land, of the city, and of all that dwell therein. So of all that blood, man, you know, woe to him that covet an evil covetous to his, uh, covetousness to his house. And, and to covet something means to, you know, uh, um, crave something that's not yours, man. Okay. Long for something that's not yours to the point where you do, will do anything to get it. He that, that he may set his nest on high, that he may be delivered from the power of evil. You see? So this man set his nest on high. This is how he got where he's at today. 12 million people, possibly as much as 29 million people. All relief works were banned except for hard labor in labor camps where the inmates received the same rations as the inmates of Buchenwald and where there was a 94% death mm. rate per year. This was all done in the name of liberal free market capitalism. Of course, the British did something similar in Ireland. In Kenya, soon after the Second World War, there was an uprising by the Kikuyu people who wanted their land back. The Kikuyu were herded into concentration camps and fortified villages, almost the entire population of over a million people. People were systematically tortured to death. They invented a new kind of pliers whose purpose was first to crush men's testicles and then to cut them off. They raped women with bayonets. They raped men. Similarly, a favorite technique was to ram sand up the rectum with a stick. Sometimes they were rolled up in barbed wire 
and kicked around the compound until they bled to death. Some of the British soldiers boasted about this. This is within living memory. The colonial secretary lied about it. The papers documenting it were burnt. The impact of the rich and powerful nations has been so phenomenally murderous and destructive that it has been completely airbrushed from our national consciousness. In order to justify the land grabbing colonial projects, land we had grabbing to colonial an projects. We you hear that? Land grabbing colonial projects. This is how this, this is how, how they got all this land. This is how they became uh, this man that's in power over the earth as we can see it to, to today, man. This is how you got on your dollar, okay? The Europeans or the Americans have come to rescue the rest of the world from its depravity and backwardness. But in order to do that, you have to be able to demonstrate that the rest of the world is depraved and backward. From this... That's where you got the, 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 doctrine, of the, uh, the doctrine of discovery that we, that we had just went through, okay? ...arose the racism that is still with us today. It was a necessary component of the colonial project. Some people might claim, well, OK, we broke a few eggs to make this omelette. It's as if all those human beings were eggs. But look at the omelette. Isn't it fantastic? Look, we've made this fantastic omelette. Forget about all that unpleasant stuff and let's just celebrate where we are. Where we are is a continuation of the project. We commodified oh. people's land and people's labour and turned it into our property. We're commodify people's land and people's labour and turn it into their property. That's what they have done, man. And wickedness. Well, guess what? We're going to do it in righteousness, man. And it's going to be payback to all these nations that enslaved us. Because all, 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 all the land and the labor that was getting taken was from us, man. So destroying the rest of the living world alongside it. We don't have to be like this. We are the... So we don't have to be like this. Well, it is like this, man. You should remember off of uh, the movie Training Day. Why? It doesn't have to be like... Well, it is like this. This is how these people are, man. Okay. You, you you cannot make straight which the most high have made crooked. Can a, can an Ethiopian change his skin? Can a leopard change his spot? Then him that was accustomed to do evil and wickedness, that's what he going to do, man. Okay, this man can never be made right. He, he eventually has to be exterminated off the face of the earth because he is the wicked. All he can do is wickedness. You cannot get, you, you, you cannot get no righteousness out of this man. Scripture says if he doeth good, he doeth it unwillingly. If he feeds you or help you or protect you, when he was giving them stimulus checks, he didn't really want to give you that. But he had to do that so he can crash this society so they can bring in that new world order. Wake up, man. Same human beings as anybody else. We're all part of the same big human family. Scripture says you shall think yourself to be in a good case because they're giving you stimulus checks. Nah, that's them stimulus checks. Tells you that, first of all, to see this country, they're trying to stimulate this country. If something, if you go unconscious, they're going to have to put, uh, hit you with the, the beep, 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 one, two, three, you know, because you got to stimulate you back to life. You know, stimulate you back to consciousness. Well, that's what they're trying to do in America with those stimulus checks, man. But all, all it's doing is, is, you know, showing you that it's putting this country in greater debt and, and destruction, man. You just have to recognize that, accept that. And of course, within Western countries, there are plenty of brilliant people resisting colonization, both internal colonization within our own countries and external colonization of other people's countries. Yeah, he goes he go talking about a bunch of bullshit. But there you go, man. All right. This is the book of Ma First Maccabees, chapter 1, verse 11. In those days went there out in, of Israel wicked men who persuaded many, saying, Let us go and make a covenant with the heathen that are round about us. For since we departed from them, we have had much sorrow. And this is what Jake doing now. You got um, one body in Yahweh Shai said, waiting for um, Yahweh Shai is a waste of time. <laughs> you got these guys at um, Sakari saying that, um, we're not, we not going to live forever in the kingdom and how the book of Hebrews and this and that and third. Hey, listen, man. These were those wicked men are right, persuading many to, to go after the ways of the heathen. They're trying to get you to go off, man. Okay. So this device pleased them well. The, then certain of the people were so forward therein that they went to the king who gave them license to do after the ordinances of the heathen. That's what I want to touch on. The ordinances of the heathen. Thanksgiving is an ordinance of the heathen, man. Birthdays is an ordinance of the heathen. They celebrated their birthdays by, you know, g g g uh, giving each other us as gifts, man. You know. Black Friday, which is which is tomorrow, it was a celebration of them 
uh, get, get, get a nice deal, uh, cheap deals on us as slaves, man. You got to go into the origin of these things. Where, whereupon they built a place of exercise at Jerusalem according to the customs of the heathen. So these are, yeah, these are the customs of the heathen. And made themselves uncircumcised and forsook the holy covenant and joined themselves to the heathen and were so, so to do mischief. That's why you see niggas over there, you know, you know, licking their chops and, you know, rubbing their hands together over, over the Thanksgiving table. Oh, we about to eat. We about to eat. All they know is eat, eat. Well, guess what? You about to starve, starve, man. It ain't all about eating. It ain't all about food, man. You have to go into the background uh, 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 and, and the origin of these things and, you know, expose them, man. Okay. And teach your family w what it's all about. And you and your family should not be worse, should not be celebrating these things because it is an ordinance of the heathen, customs of the heathen, giving um, praises and worship to demonic spirits, man. Okay, well, whatever demonic spirit was on these devils when they were slaughtering those Native American Indians, that's that 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 that, that that's the, the, the demons y'all giving thanks to when you're sitting down for some damn turkey and some stuffing, man. It ain't that serious. You can eat it any other day, but today is not the day. Okay, Jeremiah chapter ten, and and and, and uh, you go into how the the cranberry is supposed to be the blood, the stuffing is supposed to be the, 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 the you know the the, the, the flesh. You know, the, I, mean, I mean, the turkey supposed to be the flesh, the, the stuffing supposed to be the insides, all this demonic madness, man. You people can't even see it. You don't see what, what this is all about. It's in your face. Because after those Native Americans, I mean, after those uh, um, demons slaughtered those Native Americans and they retired from slaying and, and swinging swords, what happened? They was hungry, man. They was hungry and they cannibalized and ate those people, giving thanks to, you know, whatever demon that they possessed them to, to do that madness, man. I'm going to end off with this right here. This is Jeremiah chapter 10 because I know Christmas coming up next. Okay. Hear ye the word which the Lord Yahweh spake unto you, O house of Israel, you, you Israelites, man. Thus saith Yahweh, learn not the way of the heathen. The way of the heathen is these pagan holidays, man. These false gods, these false ideologies, these false ordinances, these false religions, these false philosophies, man. Feminism and equality and love for all. They, that's bullshit, man. It wasn't, it wasn't love for all when it was conquering our lands and putting us in chains, man. But now how convenient. Now, now it's supposed to be all about love and equality. Now, we ain't equal yet, devil. We about to get equal. Okay? Learn out the way of the heathen and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven for the heathen are dismayed at them. For the customs of the people are vain. Thanksgiving is vain. Okay? Christmas is vain. You have, you have all these Christmas festivals and parades and great death and destructions happening at them. You got people getting ran over. I saw a, a, a video where, where people literally fell through the sidewalk as they was, you know, celebrating a damn a, 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 a Christmas festival, man. The Most High is bringing his judgment upon this earth. And the whole world is going to know, man. Okay, verse, um, it says, for one cutteth the tree out of the forest, the work of the hands of the workmen with, with the axe. I had one guy on my, come on my page and said, this one talking about the Christmas tree. And what is it talking about? I forgot exactly what he said I was talking about, but it was some madness, man. This is talking, well, this is what happens, man. For this is a custom of the people are vain. What's, what's a custom, a holiday, a religion. Okay. It says, for one cutteth a tree out of the forest, the work of the hands or the workmen with the axe. So they cut out, they cut, and they're nice and they're cutting trees out of the forest. Because they deck the, they deck it with silver and with gold. That's why he said it was talking about wooden idols, which is the wooden idols talking about that cross, which I bet you he probably had one around his neck or on his wall or in his car. Okay, can't see people are blind, man. It, it, you, you don't deck a cross with silver and gold. No, a cross you they, they put a false messiah on there. Okay, but the trees you decking with silver and gold and buttons and uh, ribbons and all types of, you know, um, glass balls and stuff, man. It says, here's more part. It says, they fasten it with nails and with hammers that it move not. Why do you fasten it with nails and hammers? They fasten it in their houses, man. They're putting them, they're putting them up in their houses that it move not so it don't fall down. They are upright as a palm tree. They, they, they have them sitting up in their houses, man. We all know about this because 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 we all part part partook in this madness unknowingly, man. Okay, they are upright as palm trees, but speak not. They must needs be born because they cannot go. Be not afraid of them, for they cannot do evil. Neither also is there is it in them to do any good. 
You see, so you saw, so all these pagan customs, all these religions, man, is getting found out. It's getting rebuked through the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. And in this end times, the truth is starting to flourish, man. Okay, let me grab that. I'm gonna close close out with that, and I'm gonna go ahead and head out here. We're running late. Get out here to to to, to, to this damn camp, man. All right. Um, and, and, that, and that guy was about to start talking about all this about let's let bygones be bygones, let's let and why can't we be friends and all this madness. But it, it, hey, that time for that is over, man. Okay, the time for that is long gone. You 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 had time for all that right here. Exported wholesale to Britain. The ensuing yeah, stuff. plenty of time for that right here, man. Okay, so we don't want to hear none of that. Let's let bygones be bygones and oh 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 you oh you did, yeah and all that shit. It's, it's over with, man. Okay, judgment is coming. This is Second Ezra chapter six, verse twenty-seven. For evil shall be put out, which you see on the screen. This is evil, man. In our kingdom, ain't nobody gonna starve in our kingdom, man. Everybody's gonna be taken care of, man. For evil shall be put out, and deceit shall be quenched. As for faith, it shall flourish. Corruption shall be overcome, and the truth, which have been so long without fruit, shall be declared. So the truth is being declared, man. Okay, and like I said, everybody, every Israelite, I must say, let me rephrase that, every Israelite is going to be taken care of in our kingdom and nobody's going to starve. Meaning even these heathens, when, when after a thousand years of hardcore bondage and slavery, they're going to go back to, the, to that land and then they're going to live in peace and harmony under our laws, man. And you Edomites, hey, your ass is going to be in, ch in, 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 in chains for a thousand years and they're going to round all you devils up and we're going to exterminate you how you, how you sought to exterminate us, man. You know, you read uh, uh, stories about how they, you know, killed off all the buffalo. They try to starve out Gad. You devil's got hell to pay, man, and you're going to pay. All right, so with that being said, I'm going to close out. I just went a little longer than I was expecting it, but I had to do it for the edification. All right. I had to really bring out this lesson and go into, you know, some of these videos and these topics. And make sure I got everything before I go. Yeah, that should be everything. I got those videos. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. All praises, man. Call Allah, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shah. Praise us for edifying to the local elect. With that being said, I'm going to say Shalom, Kwam, Kwam, Yasharala. Um, let me go here. Shalak, yeah. I want to end off with this right here, my brother. Uh, there we go. Kwam, Yasharala, Ababa Ball, man. Ababa Ball. It's Kwam, Yasharala. Uh, call Allah Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Akako Dash Brakatha Yahweh Brakatha Yahweh Shai Brakatha Yahweh Brakatha Yahweh Shai Kwam Yasharala Abba Abba America's falling man. All right, our salvation is nigh. All right, with that being said, I'm gonna say Shalom Shalom.